right, welcome back. I'm on the Box Harder. I got my horror pack in. If you don't know what the horror pack is, the horror pack is a monthly subscription of horror movies. Uh, usually about four movies. Um, this one here is the regular DVDs, which is like $19.99 a month. Or you can get the Blu-rays, which is $24.99 a month. Um, every video I do of these, I always gripe that I need to switch it to the Blu-ray because the Blu-ray offers exclusive movies to the horror pack. You can get an autographed uh, movie by an actor or a producer or just the exclusive DVD to or Blu-ray to that pack. Um, eventually I'll switch over, <clears throat> but this one is just the regular four DVDs. Um, also in the description of this video, if you click the link, uh, it'll save you $3 and then I get a little bit of money off my subscription a month. You'll save $3 off and then I save a little bit of money on mine. Um, here lately, uh, several people, I won't say several, but it seems like one person out of every other subscription will use that code and it saves me like $5. Um, so whoever's using it, thank you very much, saving me a little bit of money and then of course in return you get like $3 off. So that's cool. So let's get into this. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I, I, get these, I get these packs for the indie slashers the low budget and the B-list. Um, I'm not really keen on, you know, the, the high mighty movies that normally end up on Redbox or Blu-ray or, I mean, uh, Netflix, but it's the rare movies I like that you just can't find anywhere. So here we go. Let's get into this. And the first movie that I see is called The Summoning. Sometimes the dead call the living. Um... This movie is basically about uh, Rachel Iverson's been renting a room from a middle-aged couple in Sugarland, Texas, <clears throat> and is soon to graduate law school when her uh, pre preparations <laughs> like it means, uh, preparations for a mock case lead her to undercover dangerous secrets. Um, about this small town built around a sugar manufacturing empire. After the homeowners take a trip out of the town, they leave her alone. Rachel senses something eerie following her. Detective Jonathan Sylvia refuses to take on Rachel's case. There seems to be no human suspects. He changes his mind, however, upon realizing that the human or not, whatever is trying to kill Rachel, is likely connected to the kidnapping and murder of his own six-year-old daughter. Can Sylvia figure out how to stop Rachel from being the next victim, or will it be too late? I'm not too intrigued by it. Um, I, I'll give it a watch. Um, doesn't really sound up my alley. <clears throat> I've never heard of the movie, but it's worth a shot. And the next movie I see is Cal Penn, The Girl in the Photographs. Brutal filler, thriller that will make Wes Craven proud. Uh, in Wes Craven's final film, Small Town Store, Clerk Colleen is eager to escape her tremendous extensions and annoying boyfriend. The gruesome photos of murdered women start appearing. Is there a serial killer in town or just a prankster with a sick sense of humor? When a cocky photographer and his range arrive in a search of a fresh face, the terror, the terror closes in as Colleen discovers uh, the price of fame might be too high. Um, another one I'm not really intrigued. Um, I'll give it a shot. Um, just not up my alley. All right. Oh yes. Now this 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 movie right here uh, is why I get um, why I get horror pack. Um, I could just tell by looking at the cover. This one is by the Lab of Madness presents Murder Party. Plenty of gory money shots. Fangoria. <laughs> Everybody dies, terrifying and funny. New York Press, and it's a magnet uh, film. It says here Napoleon Diet meets the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's right up my alley. On Halloween Eve, Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, an average Joe loser named Chris finds an invitation to a costume party. Arriving at the party, Chris discovers he's fallen prey to a lethal trap set by deranged artists. As the night wears and rivalries within the group flare up, a body count occurs and Chris must be must take action of the ensuing chaos if he wants to survive the night. Oh yes. Uh riot of outrageous funny violence. Um yes, this is right up my alley. Um 
this is why I get them. I get them for these these B-list, low budget, and it's a magnet uh, film. So right up my alley. Yes. Awesome. And the final one, yet again, is another magnet movie. I remember watching this movie a while back. This movie is freaking, I, I love it. It's so stupid, I love it. Uh, it's called Bad Milo. Embrace your inner demon. Milo has laughs, ideas, gore, heart to spare, and it never fails to entertain. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a good one. Duncan's mounting stress starts to trigger an insufferable gastro... gastro intestinal reaction out of ideas and at the end of his rope Duncan seeks to help of a hip hypotherapist who helps him discover the root <coughs> of his unusual stomach pain pint-sized demon is living in his intestines that is triggered by excessive anxiety forces its way out and slaughters the people who have caused Duncan stress out of fear that his intestine intestinal gremlin may target its wrath on the wrong people. Duncan attempts to befriend it, naming it Milo, indulging it to keep it seamlessly insatisfable. I can't, I can't even read tonight. Appetite at Bay. One of the most unique, achieved, crazy, and entertaining comedies in recent memory. Yes. So, this right here is why I get... This is why I get a horror pack. I get a horror pack because of the B-list and the low budgets. That is freaking awesome. That's it for the horror pack. Uh, let's see. The Summoning, The Girl in the Photographs, Bad Milo, and Murder Party. Not a bad, not a bad pack. I got at, least, at least I like two out of them. Um, that's all I have. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click on that link in the bottom in the description of this video and save you a little money. Help me out. Um, give me a thumbs up or down. Until next time, I'm Marlon the Box Rider, and I'm out.